Hi guys, what's up? My name is Sankar Pry and I'm going to be doing this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial and guide video so that you can learn how to use Adobe Premiere and actually become a pro while using it so you can just edit videos on the go. So yeah, let's begin. So yeah, this is my basically my product uh, project page. So as you can see my different projects are uh, highlighted over here like some of the ones that are like um like one of this is like two hours ago the other one was edited 20 hours ago the other one was edited two days ago and over on this side you can actually see premiere pro rush projects team projects and open team projects so you can just actually collab with your team and just create projects by that or you can just click on um you can also click on open projects and if you just want to have a your own personalized project if you already have one then you can just continue with that one or as what we're basically going to do is we're going to create a new project and so yeah uh, different accounts and you can do sync settings but let's just let's just jump in let's just do a new project so yeah you can just you can just see this page you're actually going to be greeted by this page and you can actually change the name of your project so that's the first thing that we're going to do do not uh, keep the project name as untitled because then you will actually have trouble finding your own projects so we're gonna, we're gonna call this project the first project why not and so yeah this is the location where it's going to be saved and this is the settings a few settings over here these um, nothing has to be bothered over here and basically you can create some audio previews and auto saves and you can just keep these all files in different different locations if you wish to and we're just we're just going to go with all the default settings and over here you can see the gpu acceleration is enabled this is important if you have a supporting gpu for that just keep that open because you're going to render much faster the time code will be normal audio samples will be normal you can go to hdv or you can go to dv dv is just much better than the other one so yeah let's just let's just jump in and this is going to take a time to load up and yeah this is this is basically our page this is the learning page that you're going to open so you're actually going to be able to see a few tutorial videos over here from adobe to create a new project and just some basic stuff we don't we don't really care about any of this and i will actually teach you all of this anyway so you're just going to move over to effects because that's that's the main page that's the page that we're, we are going to work most of the time and so yeah these are the different different settings and different things that are all over here and we're going we're going to go and um, go in depth for all of these things so don't worry about that first let's explore this top menu options so we're going to files and there are new projects we can just open up other projects to this page directly we can save we can save as so you can just save uh, your project by different names if you want to you can import stuff or just get videos this is this is uh, important so exporting to media and whatnot so this is how you're going to basically convert your projects into actual videos and a bunch of shortcuts over here cut copy paste you're going to use uh, you're going to have use for all of those uh, keyboard shortcut is really important but we're going to go to go into depth in that later on right now we're just going to go to preferences and general so over here you can actually see different selections and you can just do some changes to all of these the main thing that you're going to do is auto save auto save is really important especially if you if you live in an area where there are constant power cuts and whatnot auto save is amazing you can just um, your projects will basically be auto saved every time so you can set it to five minutes you can set it to one minute and every one minute later your project will be saved and so you won't have to re-edit everything if you lose the project or something or if, if the application crashes even so it will all be saved so that's really important um yeah so most of these uh you're just going to keep them at normal uh we don't really want to mess much over here these are all just going to be normal memory memory uh, management is pretty uh, cool you can just select uh, memory or you can set a performance performance means it's going to use more memory but it's going to perform much better this application is going to perform much better you can select the other one as well autosave is the most important stuff over here 
and yeah everything everything is just normal so yeah click ok and we're just going to move forward to clips so not really much over in clips and this is this is all where we're going to actually use all of this later on right now it's not really all that important to know it's just to look at stuff and to just to just get a better feel for everything around this if you need any help regarding anything you can just use that as well so yeah this is this is the effects control this is um we we're going to work a lot over here for effects and controls over your video and this is where you actually place a video file so we're just we're just going to do that right now like yeah let me just go over here and let me just drag one of these videos so let's let's drag this one okay all right so you can see this video is now in here and we just want to put it on the timeline or on the sequence just want to drag it over to the sequence which is over here this is your sequence place so if you just copy and put your video in here then the this this page will just basically open up and so over here if you you have your audio stream and your video stream over here you can actually play the video this is your media player up here so you can just play the video pause whatever you can just move this forward or you can actually use the media players one to move it forward you can zoom in zoom out uh, you can use this one to move forward and move backwards that's uh, that's going to be useful for later on and so yeah this this is the audio clips that you can also use basically uh, you really want to uh, divide these two like the video and the audio file so you want to click unlink this is a um, kind of cool feature so that you can just edit the audio separately and edit the video separately as you can just see this is the graph for the audio and so you can just get the graph for the audio, uh, video separately so you can just control the volume levels of this audio and whatnot so yeah basically you will be able to do a lot of things and yeah so in this media player you can just click pause and this is frame by frame we're just we're just moving frame by frame backwards using this key and if we go to the next one this is all the way back this is like home and like this one is end so we just go complete forward or go complete back using just that key and these are just some really neat shortcuts and whatnot so we're gonna go in details about all of this later on and so uh, coming to this side there are effects over here these all effects come into play we are going to drag these effects over to the videos and uh, they're going to do different things to your video uh, this is really cool stuff over here so we're, we're going to mess around with that as well and which are actually going to do some projects over here later on so yeah okay so that's it uh, for this introduction video i guess so i'm going to meet you next time thanks for watching have a nice day